Hi, good morning, Emma. Well, yeah, the Trump team, they got their hopes up and then got them dashed shortly afterwards. Here's what happened. For a short time yesterday evening, two election officials in Wayne County, Michigan, refused to certify the election results in that county. And here is why. The county board found that the number of ballots that uh, were cast did not match the number of people signed in to vote. Now, the president excitedly took to Twitter in one tweet saying, quote, well, it's really quite simple. You can't just you just can't have more votes than people. But also Michigan Governor uh, Gretchen Whitmer had something to say about it very soon after the news broke, calling this a partisan play on the part of the election officials. She also said that she would guarantee that the results of the election in her state would be certified. Well, these election officials, after getting doxxed and threatened immediately, they decided to quickly change their vote, get on board, and certify the election results in their county with one caveat, uh, getting a, a guarantee from the Secretary of State, Jocelyn Vincent, that she would audit the discrepancies in the results there. Now, the Trump camp continues to say that there's just irregularities all over the country in different counties, particularly in Nevada, where Trump electors and uh, uh, and uh, the chair of the Nevada Republican Party are suing that state in order to declare Trump the winner or to uh, overturn and annul the presidential election altogether in that state due to what they say is overwhelming irregularities. Trump team uh, Matt Schlapp actually held a press conference where he pointed out Clark County saying it's probably the worst in the state for irregularities. Listen. In all my years in politics, I have never seen the types of voter irregularity we have seen in Clark County. And as you said, Emma, uh, a couple developments in Georgia overnight. It's actually two more counties that have found more votes that go largely for President Trump. You mentioned uh, Fayette County, which found that a stick, a memory stick, have not uh, floated votes. And then there was also Walton County. That follows on the heels of uh, uh, Floyd County finding over 2,600 votes the day before. Now, the press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, in an interview last night pointed out that these always largely favor the president when they find more votes that were suddenly missing. And it seems to be that these irregularities have been to the detriment of the president in most cases. Something that Sidney Powell pointed out last night on Greg Kelly Reports and offered her own analysis as to why. Listen. The only reason the glitches happened in the system was because he was so had so far many more votes than they had calculated in advance. Their algorithms wouldn't perform the functions they'd originally performed or were set to perform. They couldn't make up the vote count. He had gotten so many hundreds of thousands more than they planned. So that's when they had to stop the counting and come up with a way to backfill the votes. Now, Powell was speaking specifically of the Dominion voting machines there that she and her team continue to investigate. Emma, Sean? Yeah, Fayette County, something to watch. Uh, 2,700 votes, a little more than that uh, found there, <laughs> more than almost 1,600 for, for President Trump. Uh, President Trump also made waves yesterday uh, with a tweet that he put out just recently about wreaths across America. This event was canceled. Yeah. And then it wasn't too long after President Trump he said, no, I reversed this. What is this about? Because this is really quite a talker. It is. And actually, we're really close to Arlington National Cemetery here. It's over here just off to my left. We saw the president there um, to lay the wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier just the other day. And look, this is a very popular event. It takes place next month. It's actually the U.S. Army that oversees this, and they weren't aware that the event had been canceled by the cemetery until they saw it posted themselves. Um, it's a very popular event. I know a lot of different groups here that participate in it. The cemetery was saying there was no way that they could do it safely. But keep in mind, it's outside. People can probably find a way to socially distance themselves or wear a mask. And that's sort of the rationale you got out of the White House. The president has been a, a big supporter of veterans and uh, the military. And this was something that was very important to him from what we're told. And when he saw that, he wanted to uh, step in. And the groups that I talked to applauded the president for that effort. Well, now he just has to reverse canceling Thanksgiving. So we'll wait for... <laughs> we'll wait for that tweet as well. Yeah, no kidding. Right? All right. Emerald Robinson, good to see you. Thank you.